If you've ever been to a pharmacy, you've probably realized it's a comfortable temperature. Is that for the people shopping? Well, sort of, but it's also for the medicine. It matters what temperature medicine is stored at. Pharmacies use things like heating, cooling, and refrigeration, all powered by electricity. If medicine is at the wrong temperature, it can break down and stop working. But what if you didn't have electricity to keep your medicine at the right temperature? Well, Wole Soboyejo, an engineer and professor at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, faced these very challenges. So a few years ago, I, I used to spend part of my time going to teach in Kenya. And I lived in a place called Impala Village, where I discovered the Impala Clinic, which is an amazing clinic that provides medication and vaccines to a community in the Laikipia district of Kenya. So the Laikipia district has within its domains uh, regions of Mount Kenya and many, many roads that are not tarred. And, and so getting through that district often requires four-wheel drive vehicles and there's some regions that you can't access even on a four-wheel drive. So, so people over centuries have developed methods that they use to transport themselves on camels, sometimes on donkeys. And, and that's how you get through to some of the most remote places uh, of Laikipia. So the challenge was that they would take out medication or vaccines uh, on 30 day treks across the region. And they would try to cool these medication or vaccines with ice packs. And of course the ice packs melt. And, and once the ice packs melt, they lose their medication after some time and the vaccines in places where resources are limited. And they ended up, of course, wanting a better solution to this problem. Wow, Professor Soboyejo's experience makes me grateful that I live near a pharmacy that can keep my medication at the right temperature. But it also makes me realize that there are situations where I and other people in my community might not be able to keep our medications at the temperatures we need. Can you think of any?